currently online. The Romantic Jealousy Questionnaire is just what I named it. So I went through my design. Let's just show you quickly. I can't make any changes, but so I have about you. So that's the demographics. This is all mandatory. This was a free writing question, so you can put down the numbers. I think no, I changed to yeah numbers only, up to two digits. Then I've got a new page, tracking this rating. Then I have the multi-dimensional uh, jealousy scale, and there's three different sections. So this is just a note, like instructions. My Likert scale, so I just copied this all the way down because the answers are the same. Just changing the question. There are three different types of jealousy, so I just made new type, like new pages per type. I think. Did I make any changes? No, I didn't. Okay. But anyway, the last page is a debriefing form, so like thank you for participation, blah blah. Contact me if you want to read more, blah blah blah. Okay. So that's our thirty questions. Show you my distribution. So it's been open for two months, closing soon. Um, this is how people contact me, and I did have quite a lot of rude emails just because it's for straights, and yeah, all the gays got pretty angry about it. Um, couldn't really do much. So I made mine quite short, so if you remember it. So here, page four is my last page. I have 117 people who completed it. I had 96 people looking at looking at it, didn't do anything. Then I had quite a few going on to these pages, page two and page three, but they never completed it, so it doesn't count towards my um, response rate because I can't use the data because the rest isn't showing. Mine doesn't have a, a password because I wanted more people to access it. If you're looking for like a certain group, you can actually add pre-population. Uh, stuff during your design such as if you're looking for certain age but if you're going to advertise it anyway you're probably going to do that anyway so um, so you want to go on to analyze okay so you have a big summary of male, female all the questions just like a bar chart with numbers down like percentages and stuff all the way along. This is based on no date filter, so it's my whole entire thing showing every single question. You can actually browse responses one by one. And I did this really stupidly because I did this going through person by person, filling out the date on SPSS, and it took forever. But if you go back to the summary, there's actually a button in this little corner here that says export really really useful you want to export it onto excel and there are different options on how you want to export it so you can have it the way it is but you know how my like it scale had like one and had some words in it SPSS can't take these words so you want to have code responses so you can just put directly into SPSS, it'll save you so much time. But sometimes if you need a writing or something, you can like, change it to a different one depending on what you need. Like include section headings or I don't know, whatever you need. Or if you want to leave it on there. So I chose this one. Then you export the data. And you can export the key file. You don't need the key file, but you should do it so you can just so you can just refer to what the numbers mean. So it normally goes in order of how you designed it. So I think I put male and female, so it codes it as male 1, female 2. So when you go into SPSS and you code these labels, you have to put it as male 1, female 2. Because when you put it through like this, you can't change the coding through BOS. Yeah, 
why did it close? Help me. Okay, a sec. Oh, what? Please go away. I'm trying to make a video. Um, okay, I've downloaded an office, please go away. Okay. So, this is the codes. You can see it's all numbers, so I literally just go all the way throughout, call it the bottom, and I'll just copy and paste it straight into SPSS, because it's all numbers. The only problem with this is that you don't have the participant ID, but you can easily go in SPSS and just make a section participant ID and put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way down per person. You have to have a participant ID to be able to figure out the out the outliners so you can remove the outliners basically. So the meaning of these numbers is here. The key. So you have question one. So one is male, two is female. And it's good because it tells you what all these numbers mean. So basically when you're coding on SPSS, which I'll show you in a separate video, you need to label it the same. Or if you've already done SPSS and you're too lazy to change it, which I don't know why you would be, because SPSS is easier to change, but you can change your design accord, like towards however you did SPSS. But it's probably easier to do it this way. So if you don't download like this and you had all the writing said like male, 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 then not female, what's that, ages I think, um, I can't remember what this question was, I think this was like, what was this question, I can't remember what, oh that was long term, short term, and this was uh, ethics I think, something like that. So if you had this, you can actually change it. Excel, which I'll show you when I do um, when I show you Sona. Then you can put it straight into SPSS as well. Accept my. Okay, one more thing to show you is advanced. You can merge surveys, compare surveys. Best one is cross tabulate, which I really like using. So my um, study has four different groups, which is your gender and your relationship duration. raw values and then next so this is looking at the whole entire data so for a small effect size for my um, study is 114 per group so I can see how much people I need per group now bearing in mind this is only one platform that I've got I've also got another platform with a lot of females in but I will not I won't be able to reach 114 per group but I definitely reached the medium effect size which is 48 per group so this is good. It's the same as a pivot table, which I'll also show you how to do on Excel. Because I think a lot of people have used Sonar instead. And I think that's it. Oh. <coughs> when you um, copy and paste into SPSS you have to use the short keys as in control out C or control out X and then control out V into the statistics well into SPSS because I don't think it lets you copy and paste using right and left click Oh, it's so slow.